for another stream. Now, my original plan for this was basically to head over to Mempos and do a little bit of work on the spawners and all that, since um, one of them is... It's pretty safe, but not entirely safe. And there's definitely no good way to get to it, you know. There's maybe other things I could sort of tweak around and play there with a little bit. And of course, there's a lot more to explore down through that region as well. Thing is, though, um, on between uh, the previous stream and this one, um, I managed to pull off something like this. There we go. Sorry, looks like uh, OBS uh, did not like that. But yes, uh, what you're looking at is a render I did in Blender, which is just sort of showing off uh, Ilmago's tunnel bore and allowing me to basically rip it apart and display it on stream, uh, display every single part of it, which is pretty awesome. Um, the catch, obviously, is that, uh, you know, I can't actually overlay this on my Minecraft screen as well. And, you know, there are ways to actually do that. There's there's a number of plugins which can do that for you. Um, like Magic, I think it is? Yes. Um, I don't think I've sort of hit that level of redstone sophistication yet. And my basic rule for that is, you know, once I get good enough to actually start designing my own redstone machines, then I'll actually install that uh, light magic or what have you, and use that to actually help chart things. Because I'll be at, that will be a time where I really actually need to get all the resources down and everything set. A okay. Until then, though, uh, something like this should work quite well. I mean, I used it way back in episode one, if you recall correctly. It was my entire plan for building a nice sort of mountain base without actually figuring out exactly where coordinates are and all that. And exact same thing here. This is now sophisticated enough. I can use this to rebuild this machine without even having to have any access to the F3 menu as well. So take full advantage of that. So this is the actual Blender thing itself. Um, if I kick into render, it'll actually sort of show what you're seeing right over there. But no, you don't necessarily have to. And certainly it's... Poor OBS is not going to like the, the processing hit, that's for sure. Yeah, this is the, the basic thing we've got to play with here. And I can actually come along and cause bits of it to disappear. So I can actually just do line by line what each thing has. In fact, I've actually got a little bit more control than that. I head over here. Actually, a whole series of... Uh, layers to it as well. So I can actually start peeling it back top to bottom. And, you know, in the process sort of tell me exactly what layer needs to go where. And this is especially handy because there are some blocks where I can't even see what's there because it's occluded by another block. This allows me to peel it back and reveal, aha, that's where that block is pointed. Like, let me go back to the original one right here. Start peeling off some of these upper ones. Like, for instance, which way is that observer pointed, since, you know, it had a, a block sitting on top of it? Well, oriented like that. Covered? Not covered anymore. So now I know that bit. And again, obviously, don't take too much uh, stock in the side texture, since they do seem to be still screwed up. But, you know, better than nothing. Let's bring all this back. Well, now, you know, if everything goes well with this, then yeah, next stream I will actually head back to Mempos and do some cleaning. Or, um, I've also, uh, somebody else on the server found a an abandoned wither skeleton farm. And, you know, was asking for help on that. And, I mean, I am obviously not very sophisticated when it comes to redstone or building and all that. But, just manual labor? I mean, I can do that quite well. So, that is another thing on the cards. And especially now that I know where it is. You know, I may spend some free time between streams sort of tracking it down, getting it, get an idea of what sort of design is there, and then building up from that. But all right, with that, um, actually, and to sort of help prevent me from <laughs> uh, locking on one screen too long, I can actually bring up a, a split screen right here. You can sort of see exactly what I'm, I'm dealing with. All right, so with that in play, I have actually done a little bit of scouting before this. Like, one thing I was really curious about is uh, how exactly do you reset this machine? Like, what's the difference between uh, the way I've got it set up right now and when it's actually reset? And I was looking down uh, the signal line, the control line and all, looking for subtle minute differences. And in the end, actually, it's just this. You see uh, the C section right here? 
which connects into the TNT thing. It's sort of the front part of the TNT duping. Yeah, there we go. Go back a couple layers. This sort of C thing right here. Uh, this, basically, in, uh, in the actual build, uh, is one back. So, there we go. It looks like that once uh, once the machine is set up and prepared. Everything else seems to be identical, according to my view. So that's basically all I need to, need, need to do to reset the machine. And finding something very simple like that, like, oh, that's the only thing I need to do to reset, obviously was a big shot in the arm for me actually being like, okay, maybe I can pull this off and maybe it's worth doing again. And I mean, already I have seen good progress on... Uh, just sort of playing around with this thing. Let me show you a couple of discoveries that I made off stream. Like, for instance, back here. Take a look at those observers right there. Now let's compare it with what's right there. That's not right. Fill that down a bit. There's no block, there's supposed to be no block within there. But there is definitely something wrong with that. I think there needs to be like a slam block beneath it or something. Yeah, but there is one. So that was that was the cause of my woes over there. Block on top? No, no slam block on top. But yeah, it's because it's been shoved under. Yeah, that slam block is up over there. Looks in the wrong place, isn't it? Should, shouldn't it be one forward? Yeah, I bet you that's what happened. I put the slam block in the wrong place. You can see already, just by sort of using this basic tool, I've got quite a bit of insight into what's potentially going wrong. Now let me scaffold back up. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna head along here. You can see where the dirt track from where I previously was. Okay. Bring you back. I also had to clear out a little bit of the ceiling here in order to get better access. Uh, plus, um, I did actually come down here and wind up with a, a skeleton to the face, so that's why all those torches are up there. But if I walk down this line here, here's another error that I spotted right here. Spot the problem right there. I mean, compare that what's listed right over here. You can see that's not in the right spot. That observer should be back and there should be a slime block within there. So I think while constructing it, I misplaced that slime block. In fact, this piston actually should be forward. It, it never actually moved forward with it. So I've got to reset those blocks over there. This is really, you know, quite handy when it comes to setting all this stuff in. And there should be an observer, for instance, underneath there. Can't see it from this angle, but if I go over there, yeah, you can see that that thing should be there. Now my honey block's right over there. There should be a piston on top back there. Yeah, I think we've got enough to actually go through and reset all this. Now, uh, in the interest of safety, I should probably dismantle the TNT that's in there. Unfortunately, I checked this out off stream. I have to memorize that. But, Put you away, dirt. If I do this, it does not explode. Oh, it's just still kind of anxious about that. Thank you. Whew. My God, just broke the slime block. That's okay. I gotta rejuvenate that one anyway. Now see. Might as well go back. Oh, yeah, but I gotta move this anyway. What do I care? Okay, yeah, so this side actually is already back to the reset spot. So this side is fine. Those are there. That should stay up. Uh, this also is back to the reset spot. These should be directly in line with these pistons, if it is. Uh, but as you can see, I... Oh, wait, no, this, this one came forward. Well, this one did not. Interesting. Yeah, so it suggests actually with the signal line uh, that it's actually just right over here is the issue. 
somewhere around here. Okay, good, good, good. Not touching any other block, so it should be. And this, of course, has to be moved back, too. Let's double check uh, this side as well. I do have to actually move that line back, too. Get on top so you can see that a little bit better. I'm slime. Okay, now these two are in line with the front, so they're where they should be. This is back one, but now if you look on the other side, there's one more row. So in fact, this part did not move forward at all. In fact, yeah, take a no. I think those ones are fine. Back row is fine. Okay, now it looks like I misunderstood the situation, and this actually has to get moved back a little bit more too. All right, so a little bit more work than I thought at first blush. That's okay. We're learning, you know. My first major, you know, a bit of redstone right here, after all. That's okay. For these back lines, then, I should probably do sort of a specific, you know, actually sort of basically peel back the machine from start to back and reset that. Okay, I'm going to come along. Here's my shovel. And then reset all of these. Okay, you guys are in line with pistons. Good. That should be back one. Unfortunately, means I've got to destroy this. But okay, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Let's go and verify where all of this should be. I can really tell. This note block is forward facing from here in the original design back up see it's dead even with right over here so this entire line actually has to move backwards okay okay so more work than I thought mind you there is a way to compensate for this rather than basically pull all this you know pull all this back so I mean control doing the control line right over here as well as the signal line, it would be better off actually if I just shoved everything else forward. So these guys stay in place. This goes away. This is in the wrong spot. And this goes away too. But everything else just sort of gets moved forward one line. I think that's my best bet. Now it's not like I have a shortage of space up here, although I should probably clear out a little bit more room. So I'm moving it forward one line, and I actually did measure this, I think, before, that it should be about 13 blocks. A little bit off, I don't particularly care. Forward. Go down there, torches. I'll be there to pick you up there. Let's move that forward a little bit so I can do what I need to do. But alright, the problem... Oh, And I want a silk touch on that, otherwise it's going to break. Well, having said that, fortune is on this, so let's just try this. I've got tons of spare. Oh, no, I only picked up three. I need four in order to, in order to actually do the cave. Alright, looks like I'm going to be heading up to grab a silk. So touch pickaxe. I shall be right back. Yeah, in the meantime, talk some amongst yourselves. Alright, well, okay, a little bit more work than I thought, which is disappointing. But again, we're mostly just sort of moving those front sections forward. 
and verifying the back sections are as expected, so also not bad in terms of work. Wait, here we go. Uh, second pick. Thank you. And I'm not going to worry about the the loss because I don't know if you, I actually just briefly showed it off. Uh, if you go back to the, the uh, chest that's over there, it's got a bunch more glowstone in there, so I'm set. Now, the mob spawned. I think with the torches there, I should be safe. But that skelly popped up out of nowhere for me, so. I'm just gonna, you know, do a quick tour. I can trigger it. Good. Skelly be gone. Okay. Let's pull you out. Oh, I'm silly. I have to move it forward one block. You know, this thing actually will stay still, but this will get moved forward. So in fact, all I really have to do is pop this out. Pop that down. Pop that out. Pop that down. Here and grab what's left of my glowstone. Back over there. Ta -da. All right. Let's switch back to this dual view then. And I'll bring back all the layers. They didn't quite turn them all on. I'll finally run forward. I want to think is the first line. That one's the first line. Those are still laid back one. These have to go forward, and this is now just staying in place. But since I've got this here to verify it, worth checking it out. Uh, let's. Peel off the upper layers here to make sure that should be facing down. It's gonna be tough to verify that that's down. Do I have any spare observers with me? No, I do not. But you never have a problem with a, a spare observer if you know. But you gotta move at least one of them. Back over here a little bit. So if this is pointing down, I really like that boat. I mean, I have had this boat forever, so. If you're facing down, you'll look like that, and you'll look exactly like that. Perfect. Alright, so that's settled. You around though. Right, the hot part though. Alright, so these two need to move forward. And that needs to move forward too. Oh, that's right. Because the control because the signal didn't get all the way down, these two control arms are out of sync now. But I do actually have to wind up moving that forward. Well, all the more valid reason to actually use this view to confirm that oh yeah no, this is exactly what I need to do. What did you do? Triggered, all right. Word to the wise. You get out. You get out. Oh. I do need the observers here, actually. Maybe? That might be the same way.
Oh, okay. Where's my cobble? Now, fence post, please. Hired into there, but because nothing was connected, nobody cared. Well, am I going to be able to get out again? There's a some sort of if you remember listening to that mob area that was bothering me last time. Give you out of the way, actually. Weapons on the hot bar since I'm. Yeah, but I'm so used to pick being number two, so we'll keep it like that. Go there. Yeah, that worked. Observer, you come out first. I mean, again, I'm not too worried since I've got... Yes. Oh, wait, no, it's slime blocks up there. So that got that. But now on this side, I need to throw it away. Okay. Right there. Then put the block, please. You observer facing down. So let's grab some scaffolding. Something like that. Running down. Go. Now, piston facing backwards. Uh, is that normal piston or sticky piston? Sticky piston. Yeah. And finally, your slime atop. Excellent. When's that? Why not? Leave no scaffold behind. Oops. Well, I think that was actually what I wanted to do. You know, get the honey blocks over here. We'll find out. In fact, we'll find out right now. Honey blocks come over. 
forward-facing observers. Good. So you actually are all there. This and the terracotta have to move forward. By breaking that, will I destroy anything? Are they any observers? Nope. They're all fine. This terracotta moves. And these slam blocks all have to come forward, including that piston. Oh, and the observer. Let's tear. Why are you up there? Down one. Here. Oh, wait, no, I, I triggered a piston, so that could explain that. Alright, um, oh, actually. Let's switch over to terracotta. That right there. Don't really need you at the moment. I'm going to sacrifice you. All right, that looks a lot better on this side. Too many blocks down. Arcana and that. Wrong side. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, and now terracotta. Forward facing. Auto. Forward facing. Never forward facing. All right. And on this final side here, a little bit of redstone. Diagonal from that one, so. But now this slime all has to go. A little slime. Like it. In this case, it is on this basic line, so it goes right. Mark. Yep, one space away. Yeah, right there. Go scaffolding right here. Back here makes more sense. You're sticking a little bit to that, but I think it works. What am I going to use for spacing? Line block, why not? Two. I'm facing backwards. It is indeed sticky. Oh, there is a space down here. Pop you out. Oh, right, observer up the side. Uh, but it is facing. Alright, yeah. Oh, oh shoot, right. I'm gonna need to use slime box, slime block. There we go. Jump. You, so you're not going to trigger. If you, you do trigger. Be back. Boom. All right. All right. So this time around, the same spot. But this time I can put it on a diagonal. That way I can potentially get the proper angle for the slimes. Hang on a second. Can I put a slime on the side of it? Oh no, but it's diagonal, so it doesn't matter. Second. Oopie, you should have been behind. 
be. Yeah. On observer. Okay. Yeah. Sticky piston facing backwards. Bam. That's all done. Might as well double check everything too. There. So three. Observer facing the wrong way. Shoot. Why we check? There we go. Okay, back. So, I've got my L shape right here. Terracotta, redstone, honey blocks. Got these three going up. An observer pointing in there and a sticky piston facing backwards. Gap. Three, again, one off the ground. Two off the ground. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come up anyway, so we'll look here. Get that right okay. on this angle. Something like that. Thank you. I gotta go over here. Lay this down. Down. Uh. Yep, that worked. Oh, you're gonna trigger, but because there's no piston on top, nobody cares. Yeah. Finally. Backwards facing Steve. Bam. Don't be converted to a drowned. Yep. All right, so three up. River pointing in. Piston. Good. Got a power block. Two honeys. I already checked that. It doesn't matter. In fact, this side should be fine. Cross fingers. You now need to come up. Base, uh, that. Honey, it's perfect. Sounds better. I need too much water. Fire, no cares. Sticky Pearson facing to me.
too high, so I can walk underneath you. One, two, three, up. Observer facing this way, sticky piston facing to the back. Perfect. And I forgot about the slabs. Oh, well, I'll catch those on the next pass. All right. Now we've got our T. Unfortunately, all of this line has to be. Server into the saw. Back since I can. Oh, action before I forget. Silk touch these things away. I don't know if I've necessarily got enough for. Perfect. behind here. Um. So we're immediately behind the observer facing up. But I forgot. Forward facing observer. Let's make sure that I got those right, at least. Facing observers. One. I got you right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Class. to go. Piston atop two sticky blocks. And you need to go. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Across the bottom, I lay out three of these. In fact, since I'm working backwards, let's change that around so I can see a little bit better. I'm less likely to get confused. You three go across. 
you get terracotta. And you have moved forward, so gap and then slime slime. It's one of the two slimes, but I need to go up to get the rest in. And be across like that. Okay, good, good, good. This one, oh, only two. Intriguing. Arcot. This one has four. Go on top of here. Lime Belton? Buddy. Back behind the wall. Okay. There's obviously uh, a bit of an open area over there. So if I go and destroy more of this wall, that's going to cause problems. But let's not. Ronky. Can't jump up there. There. Oh, there's an observer sticking into there as well. Good, good. Okay. Two observer. That is a normal piston. Normal pistons on these sides. Of course. So now at the front, let's switch this back around. One block from there, so layer that there. Layer that there. Pop you out. There you go, that's the start of that. Oh, I guess I didn't take that thing out. Hmm, interesting. Oh no, it's... Ah, perspective. It can be confusing at times. Safe spot, yes. Alright, so you're the bottom. Pop. That. I'm just putting you in. And then I'll put my slabs in. So that's it's, it goes across the top the top of this so four five as such and there should be one one below that I can get that from the you hover glowstone on top oh yeah okay where's my slabs Read my inventory for you go there. Ah, perfect. Yep. Perfect. Pride is all fine. You know what? You're bothering me. I need to put one beneath here. Oop. Okay. So completes the left hand side. Problem with these symmetrical. Although in this case, yeah, I just I know that one's in place. Okay, so I'm looking at this from the front. Wait, what? There. Short side, front. Long side, back. Boom. Okay. 
there. Both going in, which I could get perfect. Perfect. Okay, so with that, pull down me scav. Hold it. I'm starting to get lazy with my scaffold. That's the bottom, but you need to go up one more. So, uh, yeah, let's throw the scaff right here. So you need to go this way. Needs to be a wind facing. Jump over there. Hey, what? Uh, just to make things a bit easier. Facing. Triggered, but since there's no piston, nobody cares. Piston for facing. Needs to be a gap here. Hi, boy, slim. Go up one more. There'll be a glowstone in there, but I'll get to that shortly. First off, I need access to this area. And then it's... I'm just lining up with this. Gotta put one underneath. No, no. Right. There. Or two past. Another way to check. Yeah. You go there. You go there. Now those ones are all done. And there needs to be one more slime down there. Boom. Alright, so I've got the space there. Forward facing piston. Do that one. Got a pile of three slime blocks on here before this. Gotta be maybe cornered to that. Yep, kitty corner to that. So immediately behind the redstone. Yeah, meet it behind that some root kitty corner to that. Boom. Okay. This side has two up, then four across. Two right here, and then two up. Inward facing that, and forward facing piston. Alright. This row is complete. No. So, There's just two sticky pistons here. So you gotta come down. When, oh, shoot, all right. Yeah. What? No. I was standing on it, wasn't it? All right, so pistons go. Into the slime from the looks of it. Well, 
confirm that from over there. Yep, into that top slime block. Boom, okay. That row. Oh yes, I should make sure that I've got the little labs top. Oh, perfect. This is where I should start building those seeds. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Come forward. Line block. Here, a little memento. That should be moved forward. At least two directions should be moved forward. Oh, and there's actually a way to check, too. I may pull this off. This is not the only bore version of that bore I've got. So, for instance, this is a replica of what uh, DocM was using. Unfortunately, a fair bit of this is actually different in terms of design. Like you can see the original one down here was had everything evenly spaced. This actually has separate spacing for some of these. Some of these are long, some of these are short. Unfortunately, I can't rely on it for that. But this actually helped me learn that it was actually the C's that are the, the C's from the TNT dupes that are there. Because if you look, this basically is in a pre-made setup. The sign there would say, please remove me before going forward, please remove me, blah, blah, blah. So this thing is in a pristine state. And if you look very carefully right here, see the C, you know, the coral TNT, and that, and the, the, the wall, what's on there, including this triple design of pistons here. If you look carefully just behind it, these two are now kitty corner. So that's what you have to do in order to prime it. Basically, this is all in the proper spot, but this is back one. That, so I can use that for reference. On top of that, I've also got this variation right here. This is supposed to be uh, the one that's driven by a TNT card, although I've actually taken this into... I've actually played with the version of this in this world, and it didn't work. What I was doing wrong, but it's definitely not working. But again, you can see here, we've got the C's of the TNT duper, and piston and all that. And this again is back one. Whereas you compare that with the original design, and I got that original one back. Oh, uh, this is different. You remember the whole idea of using uh, waterlogged stairs at the back? Well, somebody else on the internet uh, was quite kind enough. I think it was blank. Something like that. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to look up. My apologies for that. But they did a very they've they did a little tutorial on how to add this on, uh, which they gathered from live streams. I was trying to do something very similar, and I figured out this portion right back over here. I knew this is very similar to what uh, El Mango was using for like a, a zero tick signal delivery kind of thing. There was this part that I was struggling on, and this person actually figured it properly out. There's a, a connection right over here that you can do. And there's a very similar line on uh, Il Mango's, you know, the one that DocM isn't using, Il Mango's original design. So I can actually just hook this directly up. Now, why am, why am I not doing that? Um, well, Il Mango himself suggests, hey, if you're going to use a super large bore, don't, you know, basically drill down this way. And then delete, you know, destroy the the four the four wide bore that you've got, and recreate one which goes this way, you know, from going this way down to this way or this way, whichever way you prefer. Uh, if I drag a water curtain behind me on there, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to make me it's going to make things a lot tougher for me to actually build one which goes forward or back. So even if I don't actually want to do that, like I run out of time before uh, the server is reset. Um, you know, it's it's not that big a deal to basically torch behind a four long. You know, I only need, you know, 
couple of torches to make thing everything safe. So I can sort of do that and carry on. And you know, if I decide, you know, at the end, no, I only want a four wide for that. Well, then I build the the uh, water logging extension on that, and that solves that problem. You know, until that point, I just torch until I decide. Okay, fine. You know, not going to be going to the side. At least that's what I do. Oh, back to this. That was not what I wanted to show off either. It's this one. Yes, it is. This was a one I think I'm showing off last stream. Yeah, this one is prime and active. And now if you look at it very carefully, or the single part up there. But you see the C is right there. The TNT is there. And rather than be kitty corner, the minecart and detector rail are directly against it. So this is what happens once the thing has been run once and it's fixed itself into place. The TNT duper is now in place. Everything's working fine. I've also tried uh, in this, you know, and the world that I, I pulled this from to find other ways to get this thing into place, like push it from the side, you know, push it from below, actually. Yeah. At any rate, could not find a way to do it. So the, the key insight, again, was observing the difference between uh, the... The non-functional minecart version and the doc M version. And noting, oh, hey, this, this, this is that pattern that's all there. That. Get back to this. What? I believe we are building our C. All of this has to go, but I should double check that no corals are there. Yes, I just went through and deleted it, but... Safety first. All right. Back. Forward facing observers. No. Might as well put you two. But. Part of the TNT duper. You come with me. You come with me. All right. So this is my sticky piston line. These ones stay since they're part of it. Go back to. No, nope, further forward. Ah, there we go. Yes, and there's. No. You can see there's floating blocks right there. there. Mine is cool as that. I'll double check this side. Oh yes, of course, that's got to be there. You can see those two blocks are just sitting right there. Any corner like that, they're not going to stick. Exactly what I need. Back. You two are there. But the C starts two away from this. So essentially, claw. Uh, Down, down, then I put the coral in there. Forward facing normal piston. Lock, forward facing normal piston. And there we go. You. This has line block, line block. I can hide enough to get on there. Jump on parts of the machinery. Not really, no. No, 
about that. Now there's a space of three blocks in between. Starts here. But up one. This is the start of the sea again. facing sticky piston interesting okay so you're right there but you're one thing all right well these actually i can fix right now transition over to click here one that two Arrow is facing backwards. That means you're observing. Arrow is facing this way, and you're observing the slime block and driving forward. According to this, you're going the other way. You should be able to see your dot. Yeah, there we go. Dot's right there. Dot's right there. Okay, good. Oh. So wait, did I lose a piston somewhere? the piston somewhere. Oh, of course. Oh, you didn't damage anything. Perfect. Alright, so you're gonna flex. Or you do that. There we go. minute. One back. Now, you should be closer. Embarrassing. Oh well. You're in line. Oh, you're in line with the cobble, that's why. One, two, three. That would explain how I got my sizing wrong here. Oh. Forward facing piston. Line block. Port facing piston, port facing piston, server, way, climb, that, you, you, 
There we go. There we go. Place, got those in place. This still needs more. Scaffold up. I need to go scaffold up high though. Stand on all this. And now finally I can actually put that coral in place too. Doing you correctly, should be in line. You are in line. The front thing over there. You are in line. Front thing. Front thing. You're in line with the front. Perfect. Oh wait, I have not finished this yet. That's one there, one there. Okay. Better. Go back in time. Up and that. There we go. That. I think. Well, I got those out of the way. Yeah. No. Closing place. I'll come back and deal with that later. Short term, I got some C's to do. Both of you in there. Okay, well, you want to be extra cautious with placing of the coral. I mean, I do have some spare, but not a lot. So, coral, coral, boom, okay, and now you, there's a space, you, that one being higher than the other, perfect, okay, all right, let's do one last review, so I've got two slime blocks up, Bounce box up like that. Gap. Uh, I see with the coral on top. Three pistons in this configuration. My block right there. Got a gap of three. And this, of course, lines up with here. And I've got my C again. Coral on top. Three pistons facing forwards. My block there. Right here, coral on top. Yep. And then, spaced up, there was two more blocks right there. So, one, two. Perfect. And that does match up with what's on the other side, correct? Yep, it does. Throw is complete. This forward. Ah, oh, yeah, and here's now where I get some control stuff. Okay, well, let's handle the easy stuff first. There. And do I have anything to stand in for TNT? No? No, let's use stone. Okay, hang up a sec. Can I put. Half on top of there? No, I'm, I'm gonna mistake that for something. No. Go. Ground is sure keeping us company.
Okay, there we go. One, two. Excellent. You guys are all there. And then we've got our backwards facing observer. Of course, we verified last time. All perfectly fine with that. One space from there, two across. Should have slime block, glowstone. All right. There, but not there. We need ourselves this line. Interesting. This part of the line actually seems to be in place. Line back over here. Okay, no, no, no. I'm focused on the wrong lane. Or, you know, the this C actually is in the proper spot right here. This C is in the proper spot, and this C is in the proper spot. Oh, the C is not in the proper spot. Sure. You come with me. But I'll worry about those later. Now I'm more worried about verifying this. So above this observer should be redstone. Still facing the right way? Yes. That's right. Short is to the front. So redstone and four across. One, two, three, four. Redstone. Ended piston. Slime block below. Okay. Loveless observer. Ended. In a minute. It should be right over here. Okay, so I've got to move this entire control arm over. Hmm. Alright, well. Must we must. Yeah, that's right, you're right over the TNT, and you are definitely not right over the TNT. Looks like I fixed it. Okay. Let's go back to verifying this. Should be a piston right here, facing backwards. Okay, so this part of the line is broken. But then it's three slime blocks. You're directly over top of this, good. Line blocks with that. Redstone. Three slime blocks. Uh, redstone. Ended piston facing to the back, yes. Slime just below it. X the piston, three more blocks. Piston, three blocks, redstone, piston, slime, and nothing above there. Oh, although, what is that now? One, two, three gap. So one, two, three. There is this and a one. Okay, perfect. That mistake, the redstone, it helped out quite a bit. Okay.
Ah, here we go. All right, so on this far side, three slime blocks. The back there be a, a normal piston or a sticky piston? Sticky piston. Perfect. No, you extend. Excellent. Four slimes this way. Yeah. You connect in with you. Verify that connectivity. Not. Yep. Straight up connectivity. Perfect. So this line has now been fixed. Oh, there's a line block. Time to verify. TNT on a stick. And a two to the right of the TNT. Blocks in total. Stone. Oops, the redstone just above the observer. Good, good, good. The observer. Yeah. I verified that. That's fine. Double check that. Piston sitting right here with a slime block below, which I did not add. Yeah. And then three across, three, redstone, piston sticking back, sticky, no. sticky piston going back, slam block below. Add three more, three, redstone, piston back there, and then from here, one, two, three, to redstone. Okay, perfect. This part is set. Now, this, there we go, we got sticky piston heads, so I guess I would have confirmed that otherwise. Interestingly, no sticky piston, no stickiness on the side here, fair enough. But we got a blob, detector rail, and minecart up top. And the minecart, unfortunately, doesn't show in this. It's a separate entity, you have to manually add it. I was too lazy to actually add it. And glowstone right over there, perfect. So slime block, cross, and that's just the left of extended sticky piston. Yes, correct. Perfect. Glowstone just one place across from there, perfect. Okay, and now it's one, two, here. Got myself another detector. That thing, good, good, good. This time there is a slime block, two blocks above it, which means one block above the minecart. Perfect. Immediately next to that is a sticky piston head. Good, good, good. Oof, there's quite a few blocks actually between these ones. from the looks of it. Verify that from the previous one. Four. Two, three, four. Sticky. This is just to the left of this. Good. All right, I can also use this to verify that because I know this is directly in front of the observer. This should be a sticky piston head. 
right up there. There should be a slime block right there. Finally, I gotta add my two detectors. Kitty corner to the TNT. Yep. Let's go. Like that. Back since I know it's coming. What I was looking for. Let's get on top of here. Get two detector rails, yes. Mind cards. This shall be somewhat tricky. Okay, well, pop that out. Back up top? No. Just go from this route. Victor rail. Minecart. Mine block. And that's cheating a little bit, I don't know. It's now listen to the schematic. I have built this thing enough times by this point to be like, yeah, I think I know what's coming next. Corner of that. Minecart. I've only got one spare slime. All right, let's verify. If this is in place correctly, it should be one, two across. Sorry, three across and one up. Yep, that's a two gap in between those two. Two in between. You're there with your minecart and detector rail. Good, good, good. One gap in between these. Cart and detector rail. Good, good. good. This again is a two gap. Two that rail, that minecart detector rail. Oh yes, and I've also got to verify this, this and a backward, a uh, forwards facing observer pointed it to there. Make sure that there's nothing. That Side of the control thing. Nope, nothing on this side of the control thing. Let's also make sure that this is clear. Back down here. Parts of the control thing here. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. All right. This line done. Got two blocks, but of course these are these two. I already got these ones in place. Bada bing, bada boom. You are in place. Bada bing. Forward facing piston. Line block. And you should be facing. Yeah. yeah, you, observer, are facing this way. What I've got over there. I've got sort of like two question marks right here. Question, question. Piston facing forward. And normal pistons. Well, that one's a sticky facing backward. Okay. You two are slimes. Slime, slime. Forward facing normal. Sticky. Slime block. Piston facing this way. Now I have a space of three in between them. One, two, three blocks in between. One, two, there we go. And now a slime block atop, forward facing normal piston, server facing this way, two slime blocks down. Perfect. And now, gap of three again. Boom. Slime block, forward facing piston. 
No, I'm an observer, actually. You too? Fine. You actually connect up with me. This was not. Line block atop there. Two across. Oh, yeah, it's because this. Okay, okay, this makes more sense now. You go away. You go away. You go there. You go there. You connect to a backwards facing piston. Backwards facing. Yep, backwards facing sticky piston. And two blocks down. All right. Double check. Those two blocks coming up. These two in our question mark. Slime block in there. Yep. Question mark. Slime block in there. Facing the thing. Question mark. Slime block. Slime block. Slime block. Slime block. So that's my four right there. And this is a sticky piston face it backwards. You can see that right. Two down. Verified. Okay, so here I've got flame block sitting right here. Or sorry, a honey block sitting right here. Where are we coming from? Interesting. Okay, you gotta go. Verify you are in line with sticky piston. Yeah, you are. Do it like that, just so I can doubly sure. Yep. That's perfectly in line with the sticky piston. There's a space of three. One, two, three. Backwards facing observer. Perfect. And really nothing up here whatsoever. And now I've got to rip apart this entire line. I really picked, I think, one of the worst ways to handle this. I really should have, rather than moving the front forward and assuming everything would be fine, maybe I'd move this, simply because this control arm is now in the wrong spot. Will be. Have ourselves another drink. I gotta rip this apart. Be mindful of any observers. You're gonna activate. Observers come first. Oh, just the one. All right. Are there any observers nearby? Oh, okay. So the lower line has to go, but not the upper one. Okay. Okay. You're not going to trigger. Servers are going to worry about. Nope, you're backwards facing, so you're fine. Don't have to worry about silk touch at this point. You guessed it. Perfect. Okay, now. I can align you with you. The sticky piston portion. 
goes right here. It's one off the ground. Forward facing, so I can scare something out. Or, I mean, pop that out. We get the maze. In with. You're in line with you. Okay. Good. Another observer there that threw me off. You are. I can use you to reference. Well, it does make this part a little bit easier. Eat it with my bowl. Now I can just sort of come along. Okay, perfect. Probably gonna have to rip that out later, but whatever. Directly beneath that, yes. Blocks beneath it. About three. One. Be about three. Back here. Gap of three, at least. One, two. Use my gap, and then that. You get out of there. Line block. Forward facing normal piston. Oh, that's a card there. Uh, observer facing. Alright, uh, okay. Observer facing into there. Can't do yet. Line block. I betcha you're probably going to power. I'm going to put redstone on this side. So tell you what, pop you back out. Stone block. There, now that block is power, and that would have triggered an update, I think. Let's throw server back over here. Alright, that, that. Server facing this way. Lime, redstone block, piston. Doesn't tell me what type. Sticky. Yep. I block on top. block on top of that piston. Three slam blocks. I'm almost certain you're a, you're a slicky. Yeah, sticky. Let me block on top too. Forward facing normal piston and slime block. Ooh, okay. That should handle that. So this has me, this has a little bit more room. Let's go from this side. 
certainly since I was laying it down from the back uh, to verify it from the front is a good way to actually double check that I got everything right. Oh, climb, piston, piston, honey, redstone, climb, slime, piston, honey, redstone, climb, observer, piston, piston, slime, and that's it. The lower part. This observer coincides with the piston, which then there's a gap of three. Right. Line finished. Now we've got back facing. Oh, wrong way. That's better. Okay. Now at this point, this is the next line, so that's fine. I have a row of five honey blocks. Yes, connecting up to you, obviously. Redstone block right there. Piston right there. Slime block, piston, two slimes, redstone, piston, piston, let's up, two slimes, that's not behind me, so I should have gone over here, and the honey is to my right, so this is the better way to verify this. Let's go back and just make doubly sure. So, honey, redstone, piston with slime block on top, piston, slimes, redstone, piston with slime block on top, piston, two slimes, yes, redstone, piston with slime block on top, piston, slimes, redstone, piston with slime block on top, Ah, that and terracotta. You guys gotta go. You've gotta go. Oh, piston, so... Jumping. Perfect. You're gonna go... Oh yeah, but you're facing the other way. Good. Terracotta, excellent. Terracotta, piston, normal piston, sorry. That should be a sticky piston. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll verify that in the next pass, what do I care? Alright, so. Terracotta, forward facing normal, normal piston. Piston slime block. Redstone. Or... I just have to move down here too. You're going to move forward. Climb. Piston head. Yeah. Okay. You go there. You get punched out. My observer. Slime, I think, right? Back up one. Yep, behind the observer was indeed a slime. Yep, that's verified. Okay, so. Round. Weird looking observer staring at me. Slime, piston head. Bunch of spaces. You've got to go, actually. There. Looks like a three space between them. 
you know, that's, that's three. Oh, and you, you can line it up with the top there. Good. In fact, if I've got it right, this should be a redstone right here. So I'll get perfect. Or a piston head. One brick. A bunch of slimes. Good to go. Break. Three. Cross. Four. And then an observer facing to the back. Two, three, four. Observer facing to the back. I verified you actually, so I should know that you are indeed that. I verified you correctly. I was like, there's another way I can verify those two. Gap of two. There's my one at the bottom. All right. So you, one, two, three, four. Face, piston head. Slime, one, two, three, sticky piston head, slime, worried observer. Worried observer coincides with redstone. That, perfect. Slime coincides with another slime block with it. Right, and this also coincides with there. Yeah, good, good, good. Now you're underneath a piston of some sort. It's down lines and you are perfect. All right. This line has been verified. All right, so the next line then. Your piston, okay. Line, the slime blocks then is two lanterns and nothing else. Base of two and then a terracotta. Okay, so you're gonna have to come out. You're gonna have to come with me. You go in there, which fired you, but since I didn't have a slime block there, it didn't make any diff. Alright, terracotta, blank, space. Now, Glowstone. Like some of these, I can, I can actually come in and put some additional glowstone on. But the template I'm using doesn't include additional glowstone, which all right, which helps uh, keep mobs from spawning. Again, you really should be using some sort of you know mob mob spawn switch to get rid of stuff. But all right, got a gap of three, one, two, three, slime block right here. Okay, all these guys need to go. You're staring into there, so. Boop. 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 You get the slime block. You get the piston. Not extended, normal piston. Perfect. Server facing in. Slime block, piston. Server facing in. So that means two slimes. I don't have two slimes. Oh, my spare slime. Brought some spare slime box for a reason. You need to go. You need to go too, because otherwise you're going to trigger the observer. You bop out. You go in there. Good for food. All right, so. 
light, space of three. Uh, normal piston, that server. Now you notice there's also sticky piston sticking facing backwards, and that matches up. Slime block, observer facing backwards. Okay, so these guys at the top are in line. Well, that kind of helps. I mean, now I don't have to reconfigure that. And those, this, it, getting that upward line in place is going to be annoying. Probably good that I had these. All right. Got a space. Sticky piston. Slime block. Server. Facing towards me, yes. Yeah, you three have got to go. You, Mr. Observer, you should have to. Yeah, you're right next to there. In fact, I don't need to throw a block up front. I simply could have gone from this side. Let me observe like that. Right there. Normal piston. There. Okay, now. Sticky piston. Yeah, there should be a slime block right there. You're gonna go, so. You gotta bop out. You gotta bop out. You unfortunately are backwards facing, so need to throw slime block there. Yep. Get that though. Get that, but that I don't care about. Gonna take this terracotta out. Pop you. And put terracotta back in. There we go, that should have solved that. Put a slime block back in there. Alright, so. Oh, actually, I might be premature with that. I really only care about this side right now. Okay, so. Backwards facing observer, slime block, sticky piston, yes, can confirm from that. Tap one, two, three. Oh, three. Oh, only two. That's definitely a block of two gap in between those. So, okay. Mass, back, back. Worried observer facing me. Slime block, sticky piston. Gap, gap. Oh, right. And should be. Forward facing normal piston. Slime observer facing. Gap of two. We've got our observer sitting right over here. Piston. Slime block. Two. Cross two. Light. Terracotta block. Up top. And space two apart is observer. Line block, sticky piston. Hide here. Two lackets. Alright, this row is done. Now, see this design right here. This should have been moved up over here. Definitely need to go. Line blocks need to go. This down or up? Line temporarily. Observer facing down. Okay, so that in pretty easy. Line. Yep. Back in just so I get slime slime sticky piston. 
An extended sticky piston. Ah. Server's facing in. Sticky piston. Time sticky piston, and you are observer. Oh, let's throw down some scaff. Okay, so I gotta approach from below, not above. This. There we go, that's got my slime block right there. Let me teach you what's going on here. E. Lantern. Slime block. Observer. Piston. Normal piston and worried observer facing right. Worried observer facing right. Yeah, that's a normal piston. Alright, so right. Spin block, piston, worried observer. Gap like. Three space gap. One, two, three. Line block. Piston, worried observer, good. One, two, three, slime block, piston, worried observer. That's it. Three, slime block, piston. All right, so this row is basically done. Got to make sure they are normal pistons. Yep. Normal piston. So, normal piston. Piston. Normal piston. Perfect. Let's roll. Finished. Only one. These three. All right, well, we're basically at the end of the machine. Where are you? Let's let's defang our observers, really. Come with me, please. You are... E slime... Upwards facing observer. Line block. Oh, wait, wait, let's make sure I got this right, because this looks. Oh, yes, okay, the piston. That was one off. You. You. And it's the key. Your slime block, or sing that way. Oh shoot! Dig down to get that one. Our old piston. So yeah, I gotta dig down. One more piston. Fill you in with. Why not?
dirt, dirt, dirt. Light and observer. Oof, come on. Inner slime blocks gotta go. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna have to build up anyway, so. Scaffold, please help. Oh, I could have used that. Was it correct? No. Let's pop you out. Up. You need to go away. You need to go right there. It for this room. Yep, that's it. Right, so from now on, we're only working on this back portion. It took two hours to fix, but it looks like we've got what we need. All right, so. And slime, upwards facing observer, yeah. R, right to slime, yes. Left, R more. All right, verified. Yeah, slime and observer. No, we're facing down. Okay, so you're going to be an easy observer at the place. Oh, that's the other thing. Okay. All right, well, let's try and figure out just where exactly. So the slime block. One side's with the slime block. Downwards facing observer, so you indeed need scaff for this. Facing, perfect. All right, that one's verified. That stone block, and how does that line up? This? Yep, right with the slime. Now to make sure that, that observer doesn't trigger, I'm going to pop you out. Uh, pop you in. Uh, redstone? Oh, you're facing, you're facing upwards anyway. I don't like to live it that way. I was just being super paranoid. All right. Okay, that line verified. Oh, wow, okay. This is intriguing. The piston up two. Yep, verified. Up two. Facing towards the back. Oh, well, I mean, right there. Pop down. Scaff up here. Watch. Facing the back. Facing the front. Oh, 
that one is verified. Uh, I gotta get my second pick out again. You're observing, but you're not gonna trigger anything. So. Back. Backward facing slime piston with light block up top. The light block is directly in line with that. I mean, yeah, but we're verifying everything here. No, 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 no. Yeah, that works. Okay, and you're facing the back, you're facing the front. Definitely to the right to the back of the machine. Well, properly verified. Wrong way. So, I'm a U facing forwards with a slime block underneath. You. Slime block. That observer is facing directly into the light. Directly into the light. Line lines up with that. It's going to get confusing unless I layer this up. Face. Face. Piston. Forward facing normal piston. One block back from there. You go in there. You. And you're also forward facing. Verify just by doing you. forward facing. I've done this right. Yep. Next thing will be that appearance. So this is the very end of the machine itself. So just as we hit the two hour mark, we're at the very end of this thing. All right. Well, I mean, I sat down and I verified pretty much everything on it. So the only thing that I could potentially have screwed up is this C thing here. So with that, I'm to put the TNT in place. Give the thing a test fire. Let's make doubly sure when I'm placing this down that things work. Just use a TNT thing to try and break something. That's probably not good. Another pick. You must go. He's armed. Are we? Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of food out. So let's, you know. Okay, now if everything worked out. Oh, I'm gonna spare observer right here. Just 
one spare. Alright, if everything worked out, I right click on this. This thing will bounce back and forth. Over here, this arm will move forward, and this will move into place. Good. Now TNT was launched. You are now one step behind. Verify this with the actual model over here. Switch back to my view here. And you can see now we've got distance sitting right there. That moves. So that's actually moved one block behind. And that's the same for both of those. Everything is basically just move forward one block. Kind of anything sticking up top. See? Alright, well before I do anything further on that, let's do a clearance check. I know, but last thing I want to do is have slime block get stuck on something. Maybe this is a little bit dubious right here, but there's no slime block for it to get stuck on. I'm not necessarily all that worried. This is a bit more worrying over here, though. Slime blocks, but I don't know if they're at the full height. I only want to do one test fire on it, so. Yeah, everything is clear here, although, again, I'm probably going to run into issues over here. So. There's at least enough that I can get a test fire out of it. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, let's get my shield ready, too. You remember that uh, before we were hearing a slime bounce through there, so there's probably some mobs on the other side of that wall. Oof. Did not go far enough ahead. There's too much appearance in the way. We've got a broken machine, which is the bad news. Good news is, take a look at all this. The TNT and all that didn't blow. Oh. Look out. No, what a way to die. There goes my great nether pick. Alright, well, let's go down. We're set up, but I mean, there's a reason why I kept that armor around. It was designed to die. So, bravo to that for working as intended. I did lose, you know, some pistons and some other things. You can see there's a bit of glowstone dust up front here. Well, that was very disappointing. The test fire seemed to work. Throw a little bit of that back in there. I'm not even going to bother checking in there. That chipped out quite nice, but I've definitely got to get rid of more ceiling overhead here if I ever want to try and fire this thing again. Basically, shave it back, shave it forward, make sure that forward thing is there. Oh, wait. You guys that killed me, actually. That was all my scaff. But I've got enough uh, spare uh, of your bamboo. That's not going to be a problem to build that up. Back up, and I got a ton of, and I've got a ton of string to sort of help repair that. So 
you know what? I would say that's overall a success. Yes, the machine blew up. Yes, I died and lost some valuable gear. Bring pistons and such. But, you know, the machine works. You know, as, as long as I'm careful while rebuilding it, everything should be fine. So, with that, uh, yeah, I think it is time for me to rest up for the night. And we'll be seeing you, I guess, in a couple of days. So, see you later. <laughs>